Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new edition of the Game of the Week. We have the ever-powerful Persia for you this week, and uh, we are also entering what you might call a new phase of the Game of the Week, at least for a little while, and that is we are going to enter a challenge phase uh, where we are going to not necessarily go for OP strat runs as far as like picking a really strong sieve that's really good at something and showing how good they can do it like religion or culture or whatever or domination but we're going to take unique sieves that have some unique abilities some unique strengths and utilize those to go for unique challenged victories and in this case we're going to go for a tourism victory yet we are not going to build a single theater square not a single one. Uh, we are going to the main the main thing is is we're going to try to get religion and get choral music, get that extra culture that way. Uh, we will of course be using their unique and tile improvement, which is very strong, and we will also be pushing very quickly as fast as we can to um, national parks and seaside resorts, and we will be trying to get those as strong as humanly possible. And when we hit the industrial era, we will be doing, we will be aiming everything we have at making sure we're in a golden age so we can get the wish you were here dedication, which gives you massive boost to your culture and, uh, and, or into your tourism. And, uh, that's kind of where you want to go. Uh, uh well, it'll depend Kumar and if we find somebody to fight. Yeah. I, I um, it's not necessarily... So I was talking to chat beforehand. Of course, as you guys know, as always, live on Twitch every day. Come on by and say hello. Um, so I was just talking to chat a little bit about the possibilities that you have with uh, with Persia. So let's take a quick look at them. Of course, we have the, um, the really strong trade routes right off the gate. Uh, plus, uh, so the trade route capacity for political philosophy... Um, the plus one trade capacity... Let me learn how to talk for a minute. Uh, capacity with political philosophy civic that's you know just an extra trade route extra abilities um it, you know it's really nice to have um extra trade routes real quick and early it's just a little bit extra you know food production gold culture all those kinds of things in addition to that you receive plus two gold and plus one culture for routes between your own cities so early on when you've got those internal trade routes going you're trying to get your cities going better you got that extra food and production going between each other an extra culture and an extra two gold for those trade routes is very, very strong early on. Um, so that's that'll help you push real quickly through uh, um, the culture tree early on to have that little bit extra bit as well. So every little bit counts. Very strong. Uh, and also, of course, the roads built in your territory are one level more advanced than usual. That's not particularly strong, but it's kind of nice because um, you always do notice when you're going into game, all of a sudden your units are traveling a little bit faster because you've gone into the next era. So this just keeps you that much further ahead. So, you know, your guys are just traveling a little bit faster than everybody else uh, on your own lands, which is a little bit advantageous. So not going to complain too much. Uh, continuing on, so Cyrus, like I said, very, very strong. One of the top five to ten civs in the game easily, no matter what you're talking about. Uh, I would easily put them in a top five situation. Uh, again, because this is very strong. Their, their unique unit is arguably the most... Uh, um, has the most strength of any unique unit. Uh, the fact that you can pre-build it with warriors, uh, the fact that you get it so early and it has so much strength. It's got the strength of a swordsman, but the um, but also has two range strength, uh, so you can hit with range and it can take city. It's just incredibly strong unit. Uh, very very OP, um, if you want my opinion. Uh, but yeah, you can see here a melee strength of thirty and a range strength of twenty five. Uh, as well as the range. It just, it's incredibly strong. So uh, I was mentioning to chat that we may go to a war early war if we have a neighbor that's kind of encroaching on us a little bit. We're going to want to try and get lots of land so we can build lots of parks and have lots of advantages that way. So if we can find somebody to fight early and we find ourselves in the situation to get there, maybe pump out a few warriors and get them moved into, um, um, get them promoted into these immortals and stuff. Maybe we can really rock some worlds um that way in, in, in addition to the great unit um the um 
Persians have their leader Cyrus has their unique ability. His unique ability is plus two movement for the first ten turns after declaring a surprise war on a major civilization. Uh, also plus five loyalty to occupied cities, the garrison unit. A little bit helpful. And declaring war a surprise war only counts as a formal war. So basically it says you no longer have to denounce your opponent. That's basically what it's saying. Don't worry about denouncing your opponent. Decla declare a surprise war. We'll only charge it for formal. Bingo, bango, bongo. Uh, and of course, like I said, you get that extra movement, which is very strong. If you get yourself ready and in position and then just declare, um, within 10 turns, with all that extra movement, you can just boom, 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 take out cities and uh, and really smack your opponent around real quick. So that's, that's a very strong uh, situation you can have there. Uh, so very, very good unit. And uh, finally, the other thing is very strong tile improvement. Uh, the Paradisa is one of the better uh, tile improvements in the game. A lot of extra culture is, uh, and gold, which will help us uh, in our things. Uh, unlocking the builder ability to construct parity is a unique, um, unique to Persia. Plus one culture and plus two gold for each tile improvement, as well as plus two appeal. That is going to be extremely valuable when we're looking to uh, improve the appeal on our national parks and our seaside resorts. Um, it's basically... Instead of having to worry about building city parks, you can build this instead. Although this here um, uh, cannot be built adjacent to another Paradisus. So what you can do is kind of go, like if you want to do it, if you have the time and whatever in the space, you can get some city parks worked in and around between them. And then just their your national parks just become unbelievable. Uh, so yeah. And then of course they provide tourism later on, but it's a fairly minimal amount of tourism compared to what we'll get from other things that are in the area. But uh, in addition to all that, plus one culture for each adjacent holy site and theater square. So we won't be building theater squares, but we'll be building holy sites. So we'll be able to get an extra culture uh, when we can throw them in next to the holy sites. And then of course, plus one gold for adjacent commercial hubs and the city center. So we're gonna wanna put them in and around the commercial center and, and stuff like that to get that extra gold as well. It can make them very, very powerful. Of course, if you're building theater squares, they can become ridiculous um, if you locate your uh, districts well enough. But in this case, we won't be doing that, but still getting a lot of advantage. And then of course, there's uh, um, the extra culture you get at diplomatic service. So beginning to diplomatic service as quickly as we can as well was always nice. Um, and of course, you can't build them on snow, I think, in Tundra is another thing, but yeah. Uh, there we go. That's it. Uh, that's him in a nutshell, and I think we should get going. Chat, what do you think? Uh, yeah, and like I said, a potential craftsmanship push, or it depends on how quick the war is going to be. I'm not looking to like go like turn 10 war, but um, certainly getting a gogi and spitting out units is always a good idea if you're thinking about going war. Uh, if you get militant, are you going to be raising cities if they have those nasty theater tricks oh yeah for sure the, the no theater squares is 100 percent. if for some reason i go military against somebody and take a city and it's got a theater square then that thing is gone and uh if for some reason a capital has a theater square and you can't obviously raise it then i just simply would not um take it over uh hopefully the war would be early enough that the ai city wouldn't necessarily have a theater square at the time but when i say zero theater squares i mean Zero theater squares. My culture will have no awareness whatsoever of the existence of theater squares, amphitheaters, museums of either variety. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. We're going to do it based on our pure, raw intellect. Or whatever. <laughs> All right, so we found ourselves a good spot to start a city and uh as always um if you look in the information down below on youtube guys you'll be able to see a description uh of the map and the seeds that go with it if you want to play along and of course the game of the week command in chat uh will also give you that same information yes no more fake news actors and artists yeah those those cultured swine all right, so we're going to plop down, get our 2-2 city center. You guys know how much I love those damn things. Um, uh, whoa. One four tile. You don't see that very often. Woo-wee. And a little 3-1 over here action. Uh, that is really nice. And also potentially a really good spot for some districts. Um, maybe some districting back in here. We'll see where that river goes. Um, 
potentially district in here, commercial hub. You gotta, of course, make sure you're keeping in mind at some point in this playthrough when we're getting ready to go, we're going to take a really close look at using our tile, or like our, our pins, and we will look everywhere to plop down pins and strategically lay out uh, where, where eventually national parks could go, where seaside resorts could eventually go. Hopefully we'll have some seaside. That, this is a continent's map, so you're more likely to find the shores somewhere. Um, as well as uh, um, laying out the districts and the paradises and where those will all go in order to make sure we maximize their outputs as well. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's have... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I see some rivers down here. I kind of want to step on a hill. So let's go up on here. And there is a river indeed coming this way as well as that way. We'll, uh, we'll try to maybe stay on top of hills. Maybe hill here and then we'll move and follow that river. Um, there is a river, of course, going this way and a river going that way. This actually could potentially be coast. I didn't look beforehand, so it won't tell us because... It's got a red there, but that could be potentially coast or a lake, one or the other. Um, continent. Oh, looks like a second continent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a second continent should be good for luxuries. It's very nice. Uh, yeah, it'll depend. Certainly um, either one of those, either Pantheon uh, for appeal or for uh, um, for chops. Either one is will be good in this case. Particularly appeal won't be too bad because we will be pushing appeal on this run uh, obviously with our national park and seaside resort uh, strategy, so um, Faith from appeal will definitely be something that we will want to take a, a very good look at uh, Growth in seven So it's kind of interesting. I could go scout here. I don't mind the idea of going scout here, but we're seven turns till growth and a warrior um, turns into um, the lovely immortal and I kind of like the idea of going and grabbing another warrior in this case um, early on uh, obviously exploration is nice but I just the warrior that turns into an immortal you might as well grab it other than having a scout we can grab a scout later on if we want to do a bunch of extra um, uh, scouting some searches and stuff but yeah that's it uh, as far as tech goes, uh, I would say probably, I don't know, mining or animal husbandry. Animal husbandry would be good out here. I'm sure it's going to grow there first. Um, excuse me. Um, being able to chop down some trees. We may want an early chop in order to get into a campus or something like that. There's a lot of chops in the way, uh, including jungle, so we'll need to... Uh, Make sure we don't waste too much getting bronze working. And of course, iron working is where we'll get our special unit, which will be key if we go to military. Uh, so let's start with mining. Uh, gets us set up there, and we'll be doing these three first anyway, I'm sure. So, um, Oh, geez, you know what I just realized as I'm saying that? I already said we plan on getting a religion. Um, which means we'll need to get up here. I just it completely skipped my mind as I was talking about all this stuff. We would like to get a religion. Uh, under very few circumstances do I ever discuss the desire to get a religion um, in any game other than going for a religious victory. But in a unique situation like this where we're going for a unique victory type and every little bit of culture, for instance, will matter. If we're not building theater squares, we're going to find ways to get all the culture we can uh, rock culture we can and that would mean if we can get choral music on a religion uh, and build a holy site in every city um, that's a whole bunch of extra culture in every city that we can get real quick to make up for the lack of, of theater squares um, it won't it obviously won't make up for the fact that we won't have great people of the artists writer musician variety but uh, it's one of the different ways that we'll help ourselves uh, get to the end game the way we need to so, uh, yeah, at this point, um, mining is definitely where we want to start. We're going to want to put um, in one of these two spots. I guess probably we might be forced to put it here, to be honest with you, because or potentially here, I guess. But um, we get, having to put it where there's a jungle obviously doesn't work very well for us because we, that means we have to get all the way out 
to bronze working before we can even consider dropping it down there. So we'll work into mining, then into astrology, cross our fingers on a natural uh, wonder. And uh, yeah, we'll go warrior settler, maybe, and uh, do it that way. So next turn. Um, and of course, we do have a very lovely one four tile. So hopefully when we do grow our borders, we grow to here. Then we can work a 3-1 and a 1-4 and really get things off to the races. Um, I mean, technically, if we wanted to, if we wanted to really push out that first settler, we could work a 2-2 and a 1-4 uh, and worry about growth after that. Uh, either one of those options would be a viable one. Uh, let's just keep trucking along. Oh, there's a goody hut and a bar hut. And the river... Probably coming to an end. There are some more mountains, so maybe a bit of a mountain range here. Who knows? Seems pretty open. Uh, let's go next turn. Cross over. Uh, and it's experience. Yay! Everybody's favorite goody hut. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just do a quick wrap around here. Oh, there's the coast. Um, interesting. Pretty decent land. Um, there'll be, you know, some pastures and stuff. Uh, nice little farming triangle situation possibly here. Some hills out there. Um, you know, some pretty decent land. Um, uh, so certainly a city somewhere in here. Maybe a city down on the water where this river... I'm assuming it hits the ocean. Maybe something down in here. Um, fair amount of options. Plus, whatever's down here, I think, has got a lot of potential as well. So hopefully we can get something over there. Um, but yeah, I do want to just kind of just gingerly move our way around this barb hut. We'll save our we'll save our promotion till we actually need it. Um, it's kind of a wasted. Um, goody hut which kind of sucks but there's not much you can do about it uh, like that and we're just gonna keep on trucking there's another goody hut let's hope it's better than the last um, do, 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 do. still quite a ways out on code of laws uh, I'm thinking we head down clear this out and then head south uh, let's go ahead and get started on our settler. We expand to that in one turn. We can't afford to buy it even if we wanted to. Um, at which time uh, we will be working it, of course. And then we can decide from there. Something good! Did we just get the boost to mysticism? Oh, God. Wow. Like, talk about the worst goody huts ever. It's hard to get worse goody huts than that. It really is. Let's keep moving down here. Um, I hate to leave a tile like that, but I'd like to get down this river. If I could. There's another river over here, which is very nice. We'll keep following along that. Eventually going to want to circle back and not get too far away because we're going to want to get that taken care of once we get our plus five combat strength. Um, God, it's so annoying having all this jungle in the way because i got to get all the way to it. Such a waste of turns. Another goody hut. Let's see if we can turn our luck around. Who deserves more credit? Well, it was worth it as it turns out, or it might be worth it. Goody Huts are the name of the day. Really nice land down here. We're definitely going to want something down here. Oh my god, look at the hills. That is beautiful. Uh, something where we could possibly take advantage of the mountains as well. Um... Oh, uh, grab the animal husbandry, I guess. Oh, wait, sorry, no. I'm, I've lost my mind again. 
I so rarely go for a religion that it's... And because I'm not thinking religious victory in my head, it's just kind of skipping over it. In my head, it's just like... Phew. Oh, so, and also, it looks like we might actually be working at 1-4 and a 2-2. Two, two. I actually don't mind that. Look at how fast that settler's coming out with all that production. I don't mind that at all. That productive, that 1-4 tile is just absolutely crushing it. Uh, oh, wow. We like that free recon unit. Uh, so we can have maybe this guy go this way, and then this guy can go this way, and we... Oh, that is... That is a nice bonus. Builder? Oh, gold. Oh, well. Better than nothing. Uh, it's all... Whoa! Namadol. Culture in the capital. Um, that is fantastic. Uh, let's head back this way, and you go to there. More mountains here. Petra hype. Uh, oh, we've met Spain. I am the king of Spain. Uh, I'm assuming that they came to us. I'm just gonna say thanks for the introduction. Yeah, there they are, right there. They know where we are. Authority. Turn 14, very possible. We're the first ones for them to find. Uh, we'll run our God King to get a Pantheon eventually, which we uh, hopefully will be a good one. And Discipline. There we go. Uh, civics. Let's go ahead and grab Craftsmanship so we do have that shot at a Gogi. Uh, the Tile Improvement bonus will not probably be our thing as much as i'd like to explore all this land i kind of want to get back this way i don't want to get too far away i mean we're right now we're 10 turns away uh and i do need to get to uh this barb hut as well so let's let's try and work that as quickly as we can uh we'll try to get across this river and trugging along uh some nice tiles over here Nice possible city. That could actually potentially be city number two right there. Because as much as this is pretty good land here, although they're up here, this is pretty good stuff here, but it's nothing OP about it. Like there's, you know, like the horses is good, and there's a couple good tiles here and there, but three two tile right out of the gate as well as some two twos. Depending on what's along this river, this could definitely be uh, something that we'd be interested in uh, pursuing. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's get over here right away. Um, mm, 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 mm. Two, three. So we can't go here or here. If we go here and buy that tile, that could help us get to a Pantheon a little quicker if we can get there. Buy that or get there. We can work the three, two buy that at pop yeah i don't know but yeah that's a lot of good stuff let's i definitely want to go sit put a city there uh of course being able to backfill this as much as possible later on is certainly their our biggest possibility or biggest likelihood there's another goody hut all the goody huts folks uh i have every expectation that at some point before long um oh Oh my goodness. So hot. Hey, Saltus. What's up, buddy? Uh, Dirty Harry. Good to see you as well. Mm -mm -mm. I think Kumar has something to say to you, Dirty Harry. He already said it a couple times and as well as on Discord. But Good to see you, Dirty Harry. Hope you had a uh, not too crappy weekend working. Um, okay, but yeah, this is amazing. That's another, that was another first meet, right? Or no? Yeah, they were both first meets. That's fantastic. Uh, so that's a whole bunch of extra culture. That's really nice start. Uh, not to mention Antonarivo is, uh, is really strong. Although we won't be earning, uh, all the great writers and stuff like that. So there's not as strong for us, but we'll try and get some great scientists and, uh, push the commercial house for great merchants as well. And, Every little bit counts, and that's a good one. That's for sure. Um, I'm thinking Builder. So we can chop into a Holy Site. 
What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> this game's on sale on Humble Bundle right now? Really? Is that a thing? You're not lying? Uh, do, 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 do. Where are we? We're going to cross or we're going to go down? I kind of want to clear this out. Yeah, I'm going to go over here and just take a look at everything we've got here before. Uh, just so I can see, like, there's no hidden bar button that's going to snipe my settler or anything like that. Uh, just like that. Uh, okay. That sucks. I wish I would have stepped here. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, what? There's, oh! Oh, I had him going on. I got a free builder. Oh, that's the stuff. I just got. I was like, why did a builder just appear in my capital? It's got three more. They got three more turns on it. I realized that I had him auto walking to the barb hut or the goodie hut. Oh, political philosophy. Boom, boom, boom. Granada. It's going to help with the production of units. That's fantastic. Um. I could potentially have this worker follow the settler out. Um, figure something out there. I should go for Temple of Artemis? Oh, I don't have time. I'm going for a religion. On Deity, Temple of Artemis is incredibly difficult to get, as it is. Um... Hey, boom. What's up, bud? Yeah, um, de on Deity, Temple of Artemis is extremely hard to get. When you're trying to get religion as well, there's just very, very little time for such shenanigans. Uh, I'm going to have the Builder come out here, work this tile, and then follow the Settler, I think. I do believe... Yeah, Temple of Artemis is great, absolutely. Um, but I don't, I don't even see a camp. Do I have? A, oh yeah, I have a camp. I can get a camp there. Yeah, I could. How good would it be? Be one, two, three, maybe four, maybe five. A five is not bad. Eventually, I'll eat that deer anyway. So it's it's. Yeah. Uh, attack. Him. Hey, SQ, how you doing, bud? That free builder was nice. Uh, oof. I don't know if I want to invest a lot of time going down here because I might be stuck. Because there's no passage through here and it's possible those mountains go to the edge. Um, let me go like this. Take a quick look. That is the end. And then I'm going to have him come back up because I just want to be in position because it's entirely possible. That Spain's army is marching on me right now. It's entirely possible. Yes, Persia, baby. All right. Come down through here. Start clearing some of this out. Could be another city-state or two in here, because they tend to be grouped, generally speaking. What's that? This? Yeah, I know I can see his coast. Uh, they just don't play like me. Oh, here comes the denunciation. Uh, I'm going to have to try to get the push as quickly as I can. Uh, I need animal husbandry still. Ah. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's jump on the monument. Um, I like the three two, but I also would like to get a pantheon. I would like to. I'm actually going to grab this and work that tile instead, um, because I'd like to push to the pantheon sooner. Uh, I'm still waiting on animal husbandry for this. 
Uh, clear. Couple units. Yeah, it's definitely going to be an issue here. Uh, revisiting religious tourism yesterday and had no idea for being for doing a religious tourism run that theater squares with Poland. With Poland, eh? Interesting. Um, okay, so another this builder, and then we'll go. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna come this way. Come into here. Culture from relics, yeah. So a little bit of a bonus. Skill without imagination is craftsmanship, and gives us many down here. Objects. Uh, I'm gonna jump a gogi in here because I think I'm gonna go. And grab some units before we jump on the holy sites. Um, obviously, like thing is, is that it's it, it's not like I'm going to have immortals immediately, so I wouldn't be that bad to get some slingers that I could turn into archers. I'm gonna go slinger. You know what? I think I'm going to move this guy out here. Let him do the chop there. And then I'll work this and this. And that's a ton of gold. I just need to get to, uh, you know what, before I end. Uh, Nemoto, thank you very much for the follow and welcome. Appreciate being here. Um, Yeah. Well, same as Shell's not too difficult to build. The AI doesn't go for it too hard compared to some other things. Uh, do, 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 Great. All right, Russia is around. Russia is around one, two, three. I wonder how far this river goes. I think that river goes far enough. I can put another city here. Uh, potentially some Petra dreams. I don't know. It depends how close Russia is. Uh, Buenos Aires. It's a pretty solid city state in and of itself. Uh, I'm going to push the growth. Just I don't want to. Uh, Yeah, I don't want to wait forever for the city to grow. And then I'm assuming, like, on turn, whatever it was, eight or nine or whatever, he was here. So I'm assuming he's here somewhere. Yeah, thanks again for the follow, buddy. Appreciate it. Maybe I'll show us at the dollar. And make it ourselves at him. Uh, it is absolutely so painful right now to be sitting here waiting on uh, astrology. Is anybody working on a profit right now? Oh my god. Three people already working on a profit. 
It is going to be tricky. Tricky, 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 indeed. Oh well, it's giving me time to put an army together because once I get an army together... It's... I don't know. I, I've never really done a strategy like this with Persia, so I'm not really sure how it's going to coincide with other things. Uh, pretty... That's ending. So I could put a city here, but not much of a Petra. That's for sure. Depends. I don't see Russia too close by anyway. Hopefully they're not too close in here. Maybe we'll get a lake or something in here or another river start up. Several closely situated oh. granite peaks resembling Tora del Pine. Oh, it's mine. Don't even destroyed. dare come close to it. Oh. And that also finished off astrology for me. Ooh, baby. You know what that's worth. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh, snap. Not the greatest tiles, though. God. Couldn't have much worse tiles. Oh, well. Still a solid 2-2 two -two terrain. 2-2 two -two tiles. You, it'd be good for uh, improvements. What's up, babe? Yeah, you probably want some lunch. We'll get you some lunch after this episode. Just three more minutes. Uh, step up there and be ready for that. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, wow. They're really close. Damn. Yeah, we can definitely say that war will be upon us. Get this warrior up here. Uh, his military is decent, but not fabulous. Um, we need to get to the immortal. We do not have the barb kills. We are a long ways away. Oh. It's hard, man. We need science if we're gonna like. We need to get to science if we're ever gonna have a dream. I need freaking animal husbandry because I need to be close to archery. Um, the immortal attack is a long ways away at this point. I need this because I need my tile improvements. I would really like to get into irrigation. Uh, I'm going to chop down this. I have a gogi on. I'm going to chop this tree down into a gogi for the extra carryover. Throw down a five turn holy site. Get him moving. Uh, this sucks that this is a beautiful tile, but it sucks that it's sitting right there. Cause I would I could have gone I could have gone campus campus commercial hub. I could have done a really nice freaking thing here. The other thing I need to consider possibly is the government complex in the capital. If I'm gonna spit out a whole bunch of uh, settlers later, it's hard. Like it's the getting a de getting a religion is such a big commitment. Yeah, here he comes. Here he comes. No doubt about her. Go like this. Go like this. And I'm gonna go like this just so that he can't hit me with both. If he happens to surprise war me. Uh, this guy's got a long ways to wait. Ugh. Wow, that's just about the worst. Nice that there's a river here, though. Nice that there's a river here, so that's going to be very helpful. Some good tiles here, so there's some potential. And that horse uh, makes me want to uh, kill myself right now. Um, pretty much. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, did not know that that was going on. Uh, Antonin Arrivo, if you could do me a favor and not run away, that would be fantastic. Um... But yeah, that is, like, 
undoubtedly the worst undoubtedly the worst uh, card up hand you're ever going to see but hey it's better than nothing we'll use it hopefully um, if we're not dead uh, potentially city here maybe settle right on the wine another city potentially down here in the mountains on this river One, two, three. we have to figure out yeah it'd be tight with Granada in the way and then potentially down here. So we've got some pretty decent space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A fair amount of space. We go here and smack Spain around. Should be pretty interesting. Should be pretty interesting. Uh, I'm really nervous about this. If this is spawning crazy, I'm in trouble. If it just spawned one random because we were close by or something like that, that's fine. Uh, the only problem with this is I need to go take care of that. But I also have a problem here. Yeah. And we're in the middle of uh, building a holy site. Uh, I think I'm going to need to figure out where the holy site goes in this city and get it going. Get it chopping ASAP. In fact, I might actually switch over to... Maybe a military unit and chop into a military unit to get the Gogi carryover into the holy site. Try and get that moving. Maybe the monument was a mistake. If I'd have gotten, if I'd have gotten going on a military unit, I could have chopped into a gogi sooner. But we'll figure it out, and uh, hopefully not die. Uh, thank you very much for the support on Twitch. As always, stay tuned. There's more to come. If you're watching on YouTube, the next episode will be coming at you very shortly. Thank you for joining me, and bye bye.